Good morning, guys. Today's the day. We're gonna be MCs for Eat, Play, Move. And he's here in the front driving. We have our great friends here, Aya. Ooh. And here's Alyssa. <laughs> They're gonna be filming for us today. All right, let's have fun, guys. Woo! Good morning, guys. I was here. We are at Eat, Play, Move, the Filipino Foodie Festival. If you guys didn't know, it's the first one. Of its kind. They're gonna have over 20 vendors out here, some live music, and they're also gonna have live fitness classes. But we were asked to be the MCs for the event. Pretty cool. We've never done this before, but we're very excited. I'm just afraid that I'm gonna sweat too much because it's gonna be hot today, and I'm wearing black. I don't know how we're gonna eat all the food, to be honest, also, I'm worried about that. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you. and give a little soft opening. Introduce a performer and I am nervous. Wow, who am I kidding? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. We had some good food already, but media hour is over so we don't get any more for free. Hope you guys are enjoying the adventure so far. Wish us luck. I know you guys are still funneling in, but we want to start off the day by saying welcome to Eat, Play, Move. Food's back here again. Tried a bunch of food. Delicious. It's pretty hot, but I, we're weathering the storm because the food is so good. The yeah. performers, great. They sound really good. You guys should check them out. Everybody's saying it's going to be upgraded next year because there's so many people coming in right now. A lot more than we expected, but it's a good event so far. I can't say enough about the spirit of the whole event. It's just a whole community of all diverse cultures just celebrating Filipino culture, celebrating Filipino food, um, and just having fun. As hot as it is in October, 102 degrees, by the way. Everybody's having fun. Everybody's having a good time. Anyways, we're going to try to see some more stuff. Try some more food. We're gonna get that second win, push through. We have a couple more hours to go. We still have passion. That's gonna perform at the end of the later, day. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming along for the journey. It's just the beginning, I think, though. Yeah, here we go. So he just flew in from, from San Francisco. He's about to put on a great performance for us. Just to top off a great Eat, Play, Move festival. So good. We are going to finish this uh, festival right with a really great performer. He is from San Francisco, singer songwriter. Needs very little introduction. Everybody give it up for Passion. Passion, man. Check, check, one, two. Your game is on, give me a call, ooh. If your love is strong, I'm gonna get my all to you.
All right, guys, so we just got finished with Eat, Play, Move, and it was definitely a fun event. Super tiring. It was so hot. It was so crowded, but it was so, so much fun. There was so much good food there. Honestly, we didn't get to try everything. We tried as much as we could and featured a lot on the Instagram story. What are some of the highlights? The paella was longest really... Longest line, but... That was the longest line there, but the paella was so good. Oh, yeah, they had lobster and, like, adobo in it. Oh. The ube bread pudding from B-Sweet was so good. Yes. Oh, and Samada Project. There's... Oh, definitely showed out. Giant Pacific was there with his Empanadas. But there's a lot of good artists playing too while you know yeah. while we're busy eating and stuffing our faces. The play part, right? The performances were all really amazing. A few of the standouts, EVMB, Beatboxer, Extraordinaire. For sure. You got to meet Jeremy Passion, which is really cool. When he started playing, I felt like I was back in middle school again. I remember I used to listen to his covers and play on my guitar, so it was pretty pretty neat just seeing him perform and you know getting to hang out and talk to him a little bit backstage. Meg DeLacy was great, mm -hmm. and then Lou Lagoon. They were surprising because I I never really heard of Lou Lagoon. I know they're more like local. Local, but they were killing it. Our good friend Jason is a part of that band Gwen through the years So Solid. they played a lot of cool covers too. Yeah, so awesome. All the musicians and all the artists were they were tearing it up You know what didn't get so much love? What? The move part of you play move. I got to move. It was a cool concept It was just really hot overall the event in its entirety was uh, pretty fun. Definitely a success I think our friend race on said that we hit almost 35,000 people there Which is crazy because we only expected like 8,000 so shout out to everybody for coming out and showing love to all the Filipino food all the artists and all the gyms you guys definitely turned up for us. Hopefully uh, happens again next year Yeah, I guess I could say you play move 10 out of 10 would try again. Would try again All right, so we want to thank you guys for watching us on our little behind-the-scenes journey through eat play move We thank you any of you guys that were out there. We'll hope to see you guys next year with hype foods